Salvete omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. Time to move on to level 13. We're about halfway through the third warp room. Bear down, they call it. Judging by the music, yep, it's another polar bear riding level. Hello, polar. That was me attempting to dash jump in a Crash Bandicoot game and failing miserably. Yeah, if you land in the cold water, then it counts as instant death. I think I probably did that on the previous polar bear level anyway, but... Yeah, you, know, you kind of freeze into a little ice block. You know, is it just me or our Crash 3 and 4? Or at least they seem, to, they seem to be a little more generous with lives than Crash 2. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Ah, oh, those boxes, man. I remember that part. You thought it was tough getting all the boxes in level 8? Well... This one's even worse in that respect. And there's a new obstacle. Androids lifting uh, metal blocks. You have to predict whether they're going to be up or down when you go past them and react accordingly. Don't forget that you can dash. Checkpoint and. Yeah, those blocks on the crates on the ice are kind of hard to deal with. Nitro! And no crates here. But there's the end, and Polar Bucks crash off and he lands on his butt in the snow. 42, I think that's all of them. You might have noticed there, was, and there were a few platforms in the water when I, that I flew over. Yeah, um, the big one in the middle or maybe not so much in the middle, but the biggest platform there is actually an entrance to a secret area. But, I'm not going to be going there right now. And actually, I won't be returning to this level for a while, because that's, there's only one gem. So... Level 14, Road to Ruin. This one has two gems, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get either of them right now. new theme, though. Welcome to the Ruins level. Sort of the uh, the sequel to the temple levels in Crash 1, except less annoying for the most part. Those levels would have been so much better except for one serious problem. Depth perception issues. The number of times I thought I'd jump on a platform when in fact I hadn't and had jumped in front of it we have some new enemies, like those mice, and these frilled lizards. You can't jump on them or spin them because of the position of their neck ruffle thing. You just have to slide into them. And where there are ruins, there are collapsing platforms. And these fire-breathing gargoyle things. Death route this early in the stage? Maybe I can get one of the gems now. Neither of the gems in this stage are colored, though, so... I actually don't remember for sure how you get both of the gems in this stage, though. I think there's a green gem passageway, or I might be confusing that with the other ruins level. And there's also a secret area that, if you don't go in it, and at this point in the game you can't, then you don't get all the boxes. I actually do quite like this level. The other ruins level in the game is rather annoying, but eh, this one's not so bad. Good music too. The bonus is right there, it didn't need to take that long to get to it. 
collapsing platforms, I don't think there's a difference between the hexagonal ones and the square ones. And here we find a sequence of exclamation mark crates. Jump back and forth, yeah, yeah. And don't do that, don't oh, dang it, I had two masks too. I hate that feature, or glitch, or whatever it is. Seems like generally in, well, almost jump too soon or too late or something there. I guess this is kind of the level where, the kind of level where, if you die it tends to be instant death rather than getting hit several times. Okay, yeah, let's jump on that box and not try to spin into it in the middle of a jump. And the end of the bonus is right there. If I recall, the bonus area in the other ruins level is significantly more difficult, but we haven't gotten that far yet, so no need to worry about it. I hope that wasn't the last Aku Aku available in this level, though. Not because it's hard, but because I want to get them back. Okay, now here we have a pair of the fire-breathing gargoyles, and just time it and run past them. Monkey! Here, you can use the TNT to blow up the lizard if you time it right. And, uh, uh, yeah, you can use the TNT to blow up the bandicoot as well. Can't redo the bonus. Monkey. Here, monkey. Die, monkey. Let's not stay on that platform. Okay, did it kill the lizard? No, it didn't. So, slide into him. 57. And I know there are more than 50. Wow, end of the level already? I don't remember this one being that short. Yeah, 57 out of 89. And I know where the other 32 are, too. No green gem pathway, though. I must have confused it with level 19. Yeah, that's the other ruin stage. That won't... We don't have to worry. That one we don't have to worry about until the fourth warp room, but... Yeah, well, we're at it. Might as well go back and check out that death route. Actually... I uh, better not. Maybe I'll see how well, I, how easily I can do it off camera. There's actually kind of a way you can cheat and get into the secret area without having found the entrance to it. And this one that requires a very careful slide jump. I think I may or may not have actually done that by accident. Like one of my first times playing this game. Wait for the lizard and. Let's not die this time, because... Well, obviously, then we couldn't enter the death route. Well, thank you, Aku Aku. No checkpoints before it, either, so... If I die it... Okay, I don't need to bother... Okay, I guess there was a checkpoint before it, but yeah. Who needs the death route? I can just die by falling off the platform that leads to it. It killed me before it even started. I wonder if you can jump over those streams of fire. I'm not sure I've ever actually tried, I always just prefer to avoid them. Okay, no. Now we have rolling logs to deal with. Sound is your cue for one to move and one to stay. What are you? What the heck is that thing? And now moving platforms. From a forward view in a 3D platform game. 
Uh, from one moving platform to the next. Okay, that wasn't that hard, I guess. I haven't gotten any checkpoints in the, uh, or Aku Akus yet. Ow, dang it! Also, don't try to stand on the collapsing platforms to avoid the logs, obviously. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Let's hope we don't do a little bit worse. Oh, what I wouldn't give for the double jump ability of Crash 3 and 4. Here you can just avoid the logs by going sideways, or not. Uh, yeah, you can just run into the logs too, that works. Okay, if I don't make it this time, I'm just gonna cut. I think the death route is fairly close to the checkpoint. Not that hard to activate either. look like it should have... Dang it! Okay, cut! Alright, back to the start of the death route. And a good amount of death has already happened. Yeah, this isn't my first take. Or even fourth. More like... Tenth or eleventh. If you're quick enough, you can get in there, get the fruits, and... Dodge the next log without having to wait for it. Whoa! And I almost wasn't quick enough. These guys remind me of Koala Kong from the first Crash game. He was the third boss, and like the Komodo brothers, he hasn't shown up a whole lot in the rest of the series. Moving platforms, nothing too problematic. Time for Koala Kong wannabe number two. Boy, it would suck to play this level with no sound cues. Or with sound off. Yeah, you want to time these jumps so that you can jump across two platforms in the time, in the time it takes him to throw a log. Now here's the main reason I find the second Ruins level so much harder than the first. It's tilting platforms would normally only show up in the second Ruins level if you hadn't taken the death route, but yeah, they're here. And, uh, well, we'll get to that when I get to the second one. Here you want to jump across those platforms very carefully. And there's the gem. Back to the main part of the level. Let's see. I think this is the main part. Should be. Mouse, mouse, and checkpoint. And then there's the bonus area. Okay. Now, to get the gem, you actually have to complete the rest of the level, too, so I might as well do that off camera. Okay, actually, there's something I want to show off here. You can actually sequence break the secret area in this level if you are very good at slide jumping. See this platform here? See, you'd normally go across this from the other way with a secret en uh, through a secret entrance, but if you're careful, and I wasn't, you can actually get across to that platform without it. That's not easy, however. I tried that uh, while my the first part of this video was rendering, I tried that again and again until I ran out of lives and only managed to do it once that entire time. So it can it's possible, but it's very difficult and probably not worth it. It's better just to go through the normal way. But if you're skilled enough, go ahead and try it. Alright, we're back in the warp room and back outside the level. You know, you could technically get both of the gems in this level in one trip through. Not your first trip through, unless you abuse that sequence break trick I mentioned. That would also be the only way to get the crystal at the same time. But in any case, if you went to the secret area, with or without the sequence break, got all the boxes there, and then got all the boxes in the normal portion of the level, and grabbed the first gem, then doubled back and took the death route all the way down to the second gem, and then completed the rest of the level, well, that would work, but it would be very difficult to do. 
I think I actually did it at least once, but I'm pretty sure that was only ever on the emulator. I wouldn't recommend doing it on the console, I don't think I ever did, and it would probably be way more trouble than it's worth. Be interesting to pull off, but... Uh, yeah. So, there's only one level left in the third warp room, then it'll be time for the third boss. With that, that's the end of this one, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.